Keep dancing like that. You're sure to come in fifth or sixth. Fifth or sixth? We're not dancing in the comp to come fifth or sixth. Well, at the moment you've got a bigger hurdle to get over. Right now you're not even in the competition. Excuse me? They've had so many entries this year, they've decided to assess all the teams. How are they going to do that? The official's coming tomorrow. And near enough won't be good enough. If you impress him, you're in. And if you don't... You heard, Michelle. We have to be 100% perfect. I don't know how much harder I can go. Is that you, Jackie? It's Josh. Quick, hide. Behind there. Go. Hey. Oh! Hey! What are you doing here? Last time I looked, I lived here. Right. <laughs> Actually, I was wondering whether you had a sec uh, to talk. Um, okay. I'm bombing in language studies. I think I'm on the verge of failing. No, Josh. I've got a German exam the day after tomorrow, which I'm probably going to fail, unless... Unless I help you? I was wondering whether you could give me a German lesson tonight. Tonight? And maybe one tomorrow, too. Uh, please. Okay. But it's going to cost you. Cost me what? The TV aerial on the roof. It's been playing up. Go have a look at it. Done. Very smooth. Very smooth, but totally not going to happen tonight, right? There isn't any time to help, Josh, because every spare second of the next 24 hours, you're going to be practicing our routine. Right, Emma? I think it's great that Josh is so interested in German. Hello! Big official coming tomorrow. No second chances, remember? Relax, Ali. We're going to be perfect. Aren't we, Jackie? It's just that I promised Josh I'd help him. Yeah, well, you're going to have to find a way to unpromise him. See you tomorrow. Good luck. When the drums kick in, then it's no sin to shake the floor. Coming down for lunch? I made a killer ice pine and water drugs for dessert. Mm, I ate already. Your loss. More for me and your mom. Bye. Can you get away from your books for a moment? We've got something to show you. What? What's going on? Ta-da! What? I can't believe it. An XZ9? You bought her an XZ9? It's a reward for Jackie, Josh, for excellent results. And as soon as you start showing us good results, reward will come to you too. It is a tuition program, Jackie. You can do your music lessons here at night and then upload them to Miss Chen at school. 
But... And your first lesson starts right after dinner. Tonight. And Miss Chen can give you feedback in the morning. Isn't technology amazing? Yeah. Wow. Piano lessons tonight. Fantastic. The heist do. I'm trying. G give me a clue. Mum and Dad gave it to you when you were born and you've had it ever since. A hard time. I was asking what your name was. I'm really bad, aren't I? I'm just tired. I wasn't expecting a piano lesson on top of everything else tonight. Poor Jackie, struggling to cope with her new state-of-the-art keyboard. A keyboard I didn't ask for in the first place. Oh, poor baby. So sad for you. Jackie? She's pretending to be asleep. I am asleep. Hi, Josh. How's it going? Great. Except for my German. Well, if you get stuck, you know who to ask. Tell Jackie to get a good night's sleep. It's a big day tomorrow. What's on tomorrow? Nothing. Just a brand new day. Anyway, good night. Good night. You hear that? Definitely improving. Good night, Josh. Sleep tight. Me one thing, you won't fall asleep on the dance floor. <laughs> what? What is it? Chelsea's in there. What are we gonna do? We'll just have to wait till she's gone. Or we could just go in and act completely natural. Oh, because it's completely natural to just zip around the world through your computer. Look, she's gonna find out we're here sooner or later. Unless you're planning on competing with a bag over your head. Yeah, we should pass on the bags. He said he will show me a mermaid and a lion. And I haven't seen either of them yet. Well, this will be over soon and I'm sure he'll take you. Well, well, well. What are you girls doing back? Oh, uh, we're visiting, actually. Visiting regularly. Well, it's nice for Jackie you could be here today. Help her take her mind off being left on the sidelines with the competition. Funny thing is, Chels, Jackie won't be left on the sidelines. How is that? Turns out we'll be visiting regularly enough to compete in the competition after all. <laughs> you mean you'll be able to compete if you qualify to enter? Come on, Ali, then you'll be ready for us. Well, good luck. I'm afraid we've set the bar pretty high. I think they have more chance if they pretend it's a limbo competition. You know, setting the bar low. You girls ready? You don't mind if we stay and watch, do you? Sometimes there's things you can't explain. You have 
have to find another frame to show the world it's your domain. You've got to stake your Nothing? I'm sorry. I don't want you to be sorry. I just want to know what's going on. Better luck next live, girls. You know what? I just realized what a favor you did us. Have you got somewhere else to be, Chelsea? No, really. You taking Michelle away from us as a dance coach is probably the best thing that could have happened. It's not Michelle's fault. No, you're right. There was only so much she could do, given what she was working with. Jackie? My diagnosis she's exhausted. You need to rest, young lady. Thanks for coming, Doctor. I'm gonna call your parents to come pick you up. No, don't! They're in Malaysia for the day. It's okay, I'll get a cab home. Really, I'll be fine. Okay, spill, Jackie. Spill what? My parents are in Malaysia. They could be in Malaysia. I might get home and find a note saying they've gone for the day. What's going on with you, Jackie? If I let Michelle call my parents, she'll tell them what happened. And if they know that the doctor said I need to rest, then that's exactly what they'll make me do. And the problem with that is? If they think for a second that I've got too much on my plate, they're going to take something away. What do you think will be the first thing to go? Dancing. <laughs> Except now that I've blown our chances in the competition, Maybe dancing is the thing I should let go. No way. Forget it, Jackie. There's got to be some other answer. So, this is everything you do from the time you wake up till the time you go to bed. And it's a joke. I'm glad you find my life so amusing. Seriously. Mandarin lessons, helping Grandma unload stock for the shop, homework, CCA's piano lessons, feed the goldfish, unload the dishwasher, help Josh with German. It's the way things are. It's the way things are because you let them be that way. If this is going to be a give Jackie a hard time session, can I go in the shower while it's on? Relax. Nothing weird's going to happen. We're just going to set up the list. And for the next 24 hours, you're going to put your feet up because we're going to be doing Jackie impersonations. I thought you said nothing weird was going to happen. This is only a temporary solution to give you some rest. Because we need to find a way to get back into the competition. And there's no point if you're still doing so many things that you're too tired to compete. The point is, Miss Jackie, you can't do everything because nobody can do everything. And sooner or later, if you don't ease up, you're gonna get sick. And you're a medical expert from, sorry, which university? I don't need to go to university to know when one of my best friends needs a break. I keep telling you, one good sleep and I'll be fine. And I keep telling you that you need to learn to say no. In fact, I want you to go find a nice, restful place and write no. 4,000 times. Think of it as homework, if that'll help. What is this stuff, anyway? Tongue of toad. Oh! I don't know. Stuff? Elia, more working, less talking. Welcome to my world. Luck. So. Jackie told me she wasn't a very good German tutor. Just between you and me, she was hopeless. So, we thought you might have more of a chance passing your exams, but I did a couple of lessons. If that's cool with you. Definitely cool. All right, let's get started.
top. It's beautiful. I was just messing about. What's up, Jackie? Are you OK? I'm fine now. We need a second chance. The judging's over, Jackie. It's finished. Then I need to talk to the official. Well, the last I heard, Chelsea had offered to show him and his daughter the sights before they left, but they're flying out first thing tomorrow morning. Hi. This is going to sound weird, but I need you to meet me at my Lion Park. I need you to bring my CD player, and I need you to make sure it's got batteries. What you gonna do, what you gonna do, what you gonna do, what you gonna do? You rang? I was beginning to think you weren't going to show. We are slaves this week, remember? Your wish, our command. Better be careful, I could get used to this. So, what's a big emergency? We wanted a second chance. Here? Jackie, you haven't had any more rehearsals since last time. You had a rest, which is good, but... Are we just setting ourselves up to fail again? You asked me to do some homework. Write out no 4,000 times. Well, I thought I could be more productive with the time. <laughs> you drew out the routine? Which means I know it by heart. Which means you know it in your brain. Doing it for real is a different story. Not my brain, my heart. And my heart is what tells my body what to do. And right now, what I plan to do is go out there and dance my heart out. And I want you to come with me. That is, unless you're going back out now. You really want to do this on the street, in front of a hundred strangers? On the street, in front of a hundred strangers. You backing out? I'm not backing out. Unusual, but I was sick the other day, and I just need you to see what we can do. I'll let your coach know my decision. Thank you. That was, it was impressive. Well, I'll be impressed if he says we can enter the competition. How did he know where to find him? I talked to his daughter. She said she wanted to see a mermaid and a lion. It is Singapore. There weren't going to be too many other places. Still impressive. Whether we get through or not, I don't know how to thank you. Yes, you do. You need to think of the long-term solution. Because if we do get through, you need to give it the chance it deserves. We've got to go. The minute I hear anything, I'll let you know. I appreciate the keyboard. We thought you'd like it. But I know you only want what's best for me. I just feel like I've got so many things on my plate right now, and I want to be able to do them all perfectly. But I don't think I can. 
And I wondered if maybe, sometimes, if I felt like there was too much, I could just say no to something. I want to get a good mark in music. It's just not what I want to do with my life. Are you saying no to the piano lessons, Jackie? I'm not saying no. I'm just saying maybe not right now. But we've organized it with Miss Chen already. There's somebody else in the family, somebody very musical, who I think would love the lessons. It would be conditional. Conditional on what? Conditional on Josh getting excellent results in German. It won't be a problem. Not only for this test, but for the entire year. I talked to my parents. Oh, good for you, Jackie. Good for all of us, because I also got a call from Michelle. And? And she was ringing with news. Okay, Jackie, don't string this out. You owe us already. I know. Can't believe I was tired enough to get myself into a position of owing you to anything. Jackie! Okay, okay. We got in. Ah! Yes! We <laughs> made it! We did it! We're in! Yes! <laughs> you know how you can pay us back? How? Next time you see Chelsea, tell her the competition is on. <laughs> I can't think of anything that would make me happier. Josh, stop messing around. Sorry, Dad. Are you sure? That's what the recipe says. Never heard of sauerkraut and spare ribs before. It's because it's a German recipe. German Singaporean spare ribs. Grandma's going to freak. Don't let my dad hear that. He worked on this recipe for weeks. <laughs> What's to eat? I'm starving. Oh, great. Josh. I'm running late. I gotta go. Hi, Josh. Hi, Emma. Emma. What's the rush? I'm gonna get a whole lot of mixes finished. I'm DJing a party for David Klein's new album. David Klein. I love his stuff. They're releasing it online tonight. Everyone will be there. Come in. Hey, Emma, you should come too. I'd love to. What? Except I'll be on the other side of the world. Right. Maybe next time you should give Emma a little more notice. I'll do that. And then you'll have no excuse. I've got to go. Bye, Emma. Bye, Josh. You have me going there. For a second, I thought you were really going to come. Maybe I will. Don't even think about it. Can't deny it. Your brother is cute. Hi, Emma. What's that got to do with anything? Hi, Jackie. I like him and he likes me. Why shouldn't I want to see him? Hi, Ali. What are you doing? Oh, nothing. Just waiting for my friends to acknowledge my existence. Ali, you tell her. Uh, you heard her, Jackie. Consider yourself told. Told what? If you like your boy and a boy likes you, then it's only natural that you want to see each other. She's right. Unless that boy is my brother and he thinks you live on the other side of the world. She's right, too. Hello? Oh, Nicholas. Now we're talking cute voice. When? Sure. What's it for? I'll ask them. All right, bye. Ask what? There's a dance party today and we're invited. You're kidding. Jackie, what about Michelle? We've got training, remember? You heard Emma, it's a dance party. So it's like training, sort of. I don't think it's about dancing. I think it's about seeing Nicholas. It's about dancing and seeing Nicholas. What's wrong with that? You know what Michelle thinks of us skipping class. Who said anything about skipping class? We just have to delay it a couple of hours. I'll talk to Michelle. She'll be fine. No. But Michelle, I'm not going to waste my time training you if you're not 100% committed. We are committed. It's just that there's this friend from Germany and we don't get to see him very often. And that's who you're meeting? It's not like we're cancelling the session. It'll just be a few hours. You guys really push us sometimes. Is that a yes? 
You're lucky. There's another group I can swap you with. You can. Thank you, Michelle. That's so... But it's four hours later, so that means it's the last session of the day, and that means... I know. We get the fun of cleaning up. That's perfect. Thank you, Michelle. Thank you. We'll be on time. I promise. And if you're not, you can find another dance teacher. It's good. We're on. You're a legend, Jackie. I'm going home to get changed. We'll meet at my place in an hour. An hour? Whoa, I better get going. Still gotta clean the stables. Well, you better hurry. Nicholas said we have to be in time. Otherwise, they won't let us in. Okay, I'm going, I'm going. See you in Hamburg. What do you think? Does it go with the skirt? Yes, it goes with the skirt. But do you think Nicholas will like it? <sighs> He'll love it, if he ever gets to see it. If you ever decide what to wear. <sighs> OK. I've decided. Great. Any word from Ali? She should be here any moment. How's it going? Yep, all done. All right, Dad, I've got to go. See ya. Whoa, wait up. What for? Pony club horses have just come in. Dad. Sorry, darling. Mum's out, Dan's away, and I'm heading into town. Someone's got to do it. Guess that's me. 20 minutes tops, then you're free. I'm going to be so late. What's keeping her? I'll try to call her again. Sorry I'm late, you guys. You wouldn't believe this mess. She just wouldn't let me unsaddle her. Tell us on the way. We're already behind schedule. Cool outfit. Ali, where are your clothes? Well, I was flat out with the horses. I didn't have time to change. You'll stand out in the crowd, that's for sure. Any chance I could grab something of yours? No time. Nicholas is waiting for us. But don't worry. Nobody will even notice. <sighs> Hi, Jackie. Hi, Nicholas. I was worried you weren't going to make it. Uh, sorry, that's my fault. Hey, Ellie, nice outfit. Funny, it's what everyone seems to be saying. <laughs> so, Spill, what's so special about this party anyway? You'll find out. I'm really glad you could make it. Me too. It'll be good to spend some time together without you having to rush off like usual. Where'd you go anyway? Oh, just home. I'd like to see where you live sometime. Where is it exactly? It's, um, east. Right. Far? Quite far. Very far, actually. <clears throat> Follow me. What's with the security guards? I told you. It's a special event. How special? Stick with me and I'll show you. My name's Nicholas Holtz and three friends. OK, welcome to the David Klein City Lounge. Say your names, please. David Klein? The David Klein? <laughs> yeah, it's a release party for his new city. Nicholas, you're amazing. I was hoping you'd say that. OK, have fun. Occasion. Don't remind me. <laughs> What's with the cameras? That's my second surprise. What do you mean? Okay, listen up, everyone. David will be here in about five minutes, all right? David, as in Klein. The one and only. You mean David's gonna be here in person? No way. If I'm dreaming, do not wake me. Can I have all the dancers down here to get their positions? All the dancers, come to me. Come on. What does he mean? Dancers. That's how I got you on the invitation list. David's going to do his new single and they're going to film the audience dancing. That's us. What? Wow. It's going to be used in this new clip, the one they are releasing tonight. You mean we're going to be in a David Klein music video? Yeah. They wanted to have an audience that can really dance. So I told them how good you guys were. But look at me. I can't be in a David Klein clip looking like this. Ali. Thanks. Ali, it's not that bad. No one cares what you wear. But I do. Look at me, I'm like some farmyard hick. 
Some people like Five Man Hicks. Oh, thanks, Jackie. That makes me feel so much better. No, I, I mean, you look... Emma, how does she look? Well, you look... This really isn't helping you guys. Interesting. Interesting. That's it. That's how you look. Interesting. Next you'll be saying, I might be plain, but I have a really nice personality. But you do have a really nice personality. Jackie, I, I think we've helped Ally enough. Hey girls, are you dancers? We are, you are. Yeah, we're dancers. So please hurry up, we're about to start shooting. Mm -hmm. Show's about to start. We're over here. Are you ready to start? Take, take that girl to fill this place up there, okay? Yeah. Come with me. That's okay. Okay, okay, hush. Shh. Okay. Everyone, remember, this is your chance to be in the new David Klein film clip. So let's put everything we've got into this and welcome David Klein! find out before you see them. How? It's going out on the net. The whole world will see this in four hours. <laughs> they will? Yeah. They will? Yeah. You're right. We have to talk now. <laughs> Still can't believe it. Tell me it really happened. It did, and that's the problem. What problem? All our faces are going to be in a video clip. It's going to be shown around the world. Yeah, that's great. No, it's not. It's a catastrophe. Bro, what are you guys talking about? People are going to see us all together in Hamburg. How long before somebody asks, how did they get there? Who wouldn't? They will. Oh, no! This is all David Klein's fault. No, it's not. Well, it should be. He wouldn't even give me his autograph. No way! What a snob! I know. Hello! Focus! We need to do something or everyone's going to find out about the chat room. Well, maybe it won't even be a hit. Maybe everyone will hate it and no one will even see the video. As if. This is David Klein, remember? The David Klein. <sighs> Josh's party! 
What party? Uh, there's an Ava Klein party in Singapore to go with the CD release. Half the people from school will be there. There's no way they won't recognize us. Then we have to find a way to get ourselves out of this clip. OK, so what are we going to do? We need a plan. What kind of plan? A really good one. Oh, glad we got that sorted. Fine. Hi. Hey, isn't that the director's assistant? Maybe she can help us. Leave it to me. I've just about finished downloading the footage, so we need the career now. Yes, to go to the studio for editing. Right. Bye. Oh, sorry. But this is stuff only. Oh, yeah, I know. But it's an emergency. <laughs> what kind of emergency? You see, my friend, she was dancing in the clip. She can't be in it. It's her parents. They're really strict, and if her dad finds out that she's been dancing here, her life's practically over. <laughs> Sorry, but that's not my problem. Please? This is very serious. It can't be done. Now, if you don't mind. Look, my friend's dad is a big-time lawyer. So? So he'll sue you. He sues everyone. And if he finds out that you've been using her in this film clip without her permission... But she gave her permission. You all did. When? When you signed the form at the door. It said that you agreed to appear in the clip. Didn't you read it? Have you called the courier? Oh, yes, he's on his way. Right. Who's she? Oh, she's just leaving. Right. Come on. Come on. Right. Let me guess. She said no. I tried. They're sending the video to be edited now. Maybe we could ask him to accidentally lose it on purpose? Maybe our dancing's not good enough. Maybe they'll cut us out. Yeah, sure. As if they're going to cut out David Klein dancing with Ali. We have to find a way to stop him. How? I don't know, but it's our only chance. Here you are. I thought I lost you. Sorry, Nicholas, but we've got to go. What? I thought we could maybe go for coffee or something. Sorry, I'd really love to, but we're having a bit of a crisis. What kind of crisis? A really big one. Gotta go, Nick. Bye. Sorry, it's complicated. Don't worry. I'll get the hint. I'll meet you back here as soon as I can. There he is! But what if we catch him? What are we going to say? Can we have the tape back, please? Do we know which way he's going? I think I know the studio. Is there any way we can cut him off? Maybe. Why? What are we going to do? Ambush him? Something like that. Hurry. When you feel the beat, there's no retreat. Come on, this so way! Go all the way, cause it's your day. You gotta tell the story and take the glory. Dance it. You gotta tell the story and take the glory. And dance it. And sometimes there's things you can't explain. You have to find another frame to show the world it's your domain. You've got to stake your claim. Sometimes there's things you can't explain. You have to find another frame to show the world it's your domain. This way, we can head him off! You've got to stake your claim. Help! Hey. Are you all right? Yeah, I think I'm fine. Okay, you're lucky. Doesn't seem to be bad. Ow! My knee! Can you help me up, please? Yeah, sure. Okay, try not to put too much weight on it, okay? Okay. Oh. Right. Just let me see if you can walk. Oh. Ah, oh, I think I'm fine. Thanks again. No problem. Thank Take you. care, okay? We better get a move on. Yeah, we need to be at Michelle's in an hour. What? Or we could get about having her as a teacher. Come on. All right, let's hope my computer can read this drive. Fingers crossed. Play the climb video. Sign you, please. Right. 
Thanks. Cheers. Right? And so cute, right? Cute or not, he's gonna have to go. So am I, I guess. Sorry. There's me dancing with David Klein. Say goodbye to David. And to think what a star I could have been. You will be a star one day, Ali, but it won't be because of David Klein, it'll be because of your dancing. That's nice not you, David. Do it. Now all we need to do is find a clip of you. No way, we don't have to delete me. Why not? Because I live in Hamburg. It makes perfect sense for me to be in the video. Some days there is just no justice. <laughs> I know it's due to screen tonight. I can't do anything without the hard drive. But I gave it to myself. Look, I ring the courier, I'll call you back. <phone rings> yes, what? I've just found a portable hard drive with your company name on it and something about David Klein. Hi. There you are. Thank you so much. Do I know you? Uh, no. I don't think so. Well, anyway. Thanks very much, and this is for you. Thanks, Gert. Bye. Bye. What is it? <laughs> An autograph photo of David Klein. Ah. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Next stop, Singapore. Come on, we've got a dance class to get to. I'll meet you there. What? There's somebody I have to see first. Okay, but don't cut it too fine. I won't. <laughs> I didn't think it so. I said that I would, but I can't stay. I have to go. Why? I can't explain. Believe me, if I could, I would. Why did you come back? Because I have something for you. you'd say that. When will I see you again? Next time I'm in Hamburg. Huh? I have to go away for a while. But I'll be back. I'm waiting. Don't say goodbye. It's just about time. We can't wait any longer. But what will Michelle say when only two of us turn up? We're about to find out. I'm here. I made it. So, how's Nicholas? Girls shouldn't kiss and tell. <laughs> Let's go. Jackie? Is that you? Hi. Yes! I didn't think you were here. Are you coming? Coming? Where? The David Klein party, remember? Oh, can't. I'm meeting some friends. But I thought you loved his stuff. I do. His old stuff. I just don't really like his new song. But you can't have heard it. It hasn't even been released yet. Right. But you know what they say. Heard one David Klein song, heard them all. Some days you're weird and other days you're even weirder. <laughs> Hurry, we might just make it in time. Great class today, girls. Really good effort. Thanks, Michelle. But when you said be cleaning up, I didn't think you meant the bathroom. <laughs> you wanted to change classes. I hope meeting your German friend was worth it. What German friend? Oh, that German friend. Well, Jackie? Yeah, I'd say it was worth it. 
good. Then the toilets are all yours. Cool, all right? Cool, it was awesome, right, Jackie? Yeah, it was good, but it wasn't perfect. And we need to get everything right. Jackie, this is a dance, not one of your maths tests. The first elimination round is only a few weeks away, in case you've forgotten. You're right, this is it. No more excuses. Time to put up or shut up. And since we never shut up, speak for yourself. Sorry, guys, I've got to go. Dad's picking up a new horse today. A new horse? Really? You should see him. He's his champion quarter horse. What are we waiting for? Let's go. But I don't like horses. I like dancing and winning competitions. All work and no play makes Jackie a dull girl. Back him out nice and easy. He's still a little bit skittish from the ride. Easy, boy. Oh, just in time. Sorry we're late. What do you reckon? Oh, Dad, he's beautiful. Yeah, let's hope he's worth the money. Oh, he's so handsome, no man could resist him. Can I put him in the stables? Oh, I think I better do it this first time. Oh, please, Dad, I'll be really careful. All right, but remember, this is all new to him. No worries. Come on, mate. Here we go. Yes, I'm sure. Easy, easy. Good boy. Easy. Sorry, Dad. No, it's all good. It's all good. It's just a bit spooked, that's all. He'll be right once he settles in. Well, better go help your dad. Yeah, see ya. Are you okay? Yeah, fine. I think he likes you. Who? The horse? <laughs> no, Dan. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, I saw the way he looked at you. Oh, well, maybe you need to get glasses. <laughs> You're hopeless, you really are. <laughs> Looks the time, I have to get back. I promised Grandma I'd help out at the shop. Oh, hi, girls. Oh, hello, Mrs. Henson. Hi. Um, I'm sure you both got your dresses for the school formal. Formal? Mum, I tried to talk Ally round. But you know how stubborn she can be. <laughs> stubborn is her middle name. Actually, they're not going either. They're not? Why not? Well, it's a They're long going out of town. Their parents aren't making them go. That's right, what she said. Well, I'm sure they'd like to go if they had the chance. See if you can talk some sense into it. Bye. Bye. Oh, doesn't she ever give up? There's no way I'm going without a date. The dates? The formal. What is this formal thing anyway? You mean you don't have formals in Germany? Singapore either. It's like this big night out. The girls wear evening dresses and stuff, and the guys wear suits and bring the girls flowers. It sounds like fun. In a kind of weird and old fashioned way. I think it sounds romantic. Not if you're going by yourself. What's so hard about finding a date? <laughs> Someone decent who doesn't drag his knuckles on the floor when he walks. See? I knew she'd be fussy. All the decent guys are taken, and I'm not going to go chasing after the ones that are left like some total. Desperate. But, Ali... Stop it. You're as bad as my mother. I'm not going. End of story. <sighs> Come on, I'm running late. Rehearsal tomorrow. Don't be late. Bye. 
She could have a date if she wanted to. She's just too shy. That's a problem. It's her decision. If she won't ask anyone, we can't make her. I know, but stab in, remember? See you. Oh, Emma, what are you doing here? I've got to talk to you. What about? Ali? I can't. I had to be at Grandma's, like, five minutes ago. That's all right. I have time. It's not right that she doesn't have a date. She's not that bad. Emma! <laughs> Joke! Sometimes I think you don't have any sense of humour. And you do. <laughs> wow. Weird. Dry centipede. Oh! <laughs> Ali said that there's no guys to ask, right? Well, what if we can get someone to ask her? What do you have in mind? Not what. Who? Who? Dan! Dan! You saw the look on his face when he thought she was her. Yeah, I guess. It's obvious he likes her. Everyone can see it, except Ali. Yes, but he'd never ask her. You've seen the way she treats him. Maybe all he needs is a bit of encouragement. Emma, don't. You're just asking for trouble. Come on, Jackie. Where's your sense of romance? If she finds out, she'll kill us. Where's the romance in that? I think Ali should still be on our afternoon ride. Come on. If we get this job done quickly, we might catch Dan in time. Wait. What if she sees us? How do we explain why we're here? Don't worry, you'll think of something. Come on. For Sunday, I really have to learn to say no. Hi, Dan. How's it going with the new horse? Emma, Jackie. Hi. Yeah, he's good, you know. Still edgy, it's a new place and all, but he'll calm down. That's good to hear. You just missed Ali. She's out on a ride. A ride? Really? What a pity. Isn't that a pity, Jackie? Yes, what a surprise. She shouldn't be long. Um, well, actually, I've been meaning to ask. Yeah? Well, are you going to the formal? Me? I don't even go to the school. But you're not someone's date or anything. No, why? Are you asking me? What? No! I mean, you make a great date for someone, just not me. Right. Can I speak plainly? I wish you would. Jackie. It's Ali. What about her? No, it's okay. It doesn't matter. Just forget I said anything. The trap is set. Ooh, you're good. No, what is it? Is something wrong? I really shouldn't be saying this, but she'd love to go to the formal more than anything at all. Problem is, she doesn't have a date. Really? Yes, poor thing. It'd mean the world to her if someone asked her, as a friend. Really? Absolutely. And you did say you were free. Yeah, well, if you think it'll help, I could as a friend, yeah. Trust me, she'd be so grateful. <laughs> Emma? Jackie, what are you guys doing back here? Us? Nothing. Go on, now. Uh, Ali, I was wondering. Yeah, what? You know, if you'd like to go to the formal? What? She'd love to. She would. I mean, you would. All right, excellent. Um, all right, I'll see you Saturday. You know, probably before then. I mean, here. All right, cool. All right. What's going on? You did what? He wouldn't have asked you otherwise. I didn't want him to ask me. But he likes you. Dan, trust me, we Germans know all about the matters of the heart. I thought that was the French. Forget about the French. German is the language of love. Love? All right, not love, but he just asked you as a friend. We thought, well, she thought, we thought that you might really enjoy the formal if you had a date. And you can't get out of it now. You already said yes. Uh, no, you said yes for me. Whoever said it, it's been said. And you can't back out now. It wouldn't be fair on Dan. OK, all right, I'll go. <laughs> Excellent. But you owe me big time.
So, what did you think? Don't hold back on the praise. It was good, no doubt about it. Good enough to win our heat next week? To be honest, I hope so. Hope so. We'll blow Chelsea and the Dragon Girls off the stage. Your extensions still aren't crisp enough through the middle eight. You're doing the right moves, but you're just not feeling it. But we're giving it everything we've got. Then you're gonna have to find a way to give it more. More? From now on, every round in this comp is sudden death. Anything less than perfect, then you're going home. Michelle's right. Every time we go out there, we have to give it 110%. How can you give something 110%? 100's the maximum. I don't know. It's something Josh always says about football. Oh, anything Josh would say would be fine with them, all right? All right. Maybe his math isn't too good, but he's still cute. So, are you all ready for your big night? What big night? The formal. Oh, that. So, what are you going to wear? Wear? Don't tell me you haven't got anything. The formal's tomorrow. You can't just show up looking like you've walked off the farm. But I have just walked off the farm. Chill, both of you. You need to go shopping? What better place to shop than Singapore? Uh, but you need money to shop and I'm kind of broke. I have got loads, but I can lend you some. Thanks, Sam. Listen, I have an idea. Let's find the right dress first and worry about money later. I like all of them and none of them. Well, try this one again. I really like this one. No, stop. Have you checked the price on these dresses? We're working for the next 10 years to pay Emma back. I told you already. We'll worry about money later. Hold up the dress you like most. Forget the price. I don't know. Not this one. And this one? What are you doing? Come on. This is my Auntie Sue. She's the best and fastest tailor in all Singapore. And my niche here is the most complimentary in all of Singapore. Please, Auntie Sue, I need a favour. See this dress? Can you make one just like it by tomorrow? Tomorrow? So soon? It's an emergency for my friend who's almost like family. Please. <laughs> You're a genius, Jackie. What can I say? I agree. And modest too. Perfect friend. Right, Ali? Well, I can just see the look on Dan's face when he sees you in that dress. You're gonna knock him dead. <laughs> this is crazy. I should never have let you talk me into it. What? What if you're wrong? What if he doesn't want to go with me? Ali. Well, he's only going because he thinks I want to go, and I'm only going because I think he wants to go. So what if he doesn't, and we both don't want to? Sorry, can you run that by me again? I should never have said yes. What if it's a disaster? It won't be. Besides, we've still got more shopping to do. That's right. We've got to find you some shoes. Oh, forget the shoes, but I'll make do with what I've got. Ali. There's no time. I've got to get home. Do you want something to eat? Do you want to eat? You do. There you go. Oh boy. Looks like our new horse is settling in nicely. Finally. You got your suit for the formal yet? I don't know how people wear those things every day. It makes you feel like a penguin. I think it's called fashion, right, Ali? Yeah, I suppose. Well, I better go and do some paperwork. Don't you be late to pick up my daughter. Don't worry, I won't. I know what Emma said. Sorry? I know she conned you into asking me. No, she didn't. Yes, she did. She told you I really wanted to go to the formal. Yeah, but... And I know you only asked me because you thought I did. Well, don't you? See. 
So, if you really don't want to take me, it's okay. Yeah, well, it's a bit late now. Yeah, I guess you've already hired your suit. <sighs> I guess I have. Well, better go. Better get ready. Yeah, I'd better finish up here and do the same. <laughs> See ya. What a mess. All right. Who's hungry? I don't need them. I'll be fine. Yeah, right. If I know you, you'll turn up in your riding boots. These shoes will be perfect with your dress. I can't. I've got to finish feeding the horses. <laughs> don't worry. Leave that to me. You want me to do what? <laughs> well, they really are perfect. Then they're my gift to you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Don't thank me, thank Jackie. Hmm? Well, I hope Ali appreciates this. Bon appetit. I think I'm gonna be sick. You're not gonna be sick. Not after all I went to to get you that dress. Y you look amazing. Doesn't you, Jackie? You look like a movie star. Who? King Kong? <laughs> Look, I'm really sorry to have tricked you into this. I know you're only trying to help, but next time, don't. I won't, I promise. But you've got to promise me one thing as well. What's that? You'll at least try and have some fun tonight. Ali! Dan's here. Coming! OK, I really do think I'm going to be sick now. Ali! I've got a bad feeling about this. You'll be fine, really. <sighs> you go, girl. I don't know who else they'd be for. Thanks. You look nice. Uh, yeah, you too. Thanks, so do you. I think you just said that. Can I tell you something? I'm really nervous. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you both look fabulous. Uh, Ali's dad's just with the horses. He'll take him to town when he's done. Sarah, quick! The new stallion's run off. What? I went to brush him down and he spooked. Bolted out of the store. Well, how? Looks like someone left the gate unlatched. Oh, well, don't worry about that now. We've got to get him back. Which way did he go? Past the dam and into the bush. We'll have to cut him off before he reaches the road. We'll head him off along the fire trail. All right, Jen and I will follow the creek. Oh, Ali, your dress. No time to change. Dress. Amazing. She's such a tomboy. She can be so pretty if she dresses up. I hope Dan notices. Of course he will. I told you he likes that. But you know what boys are like. If it doesn't involve video games or football, they never see what's right in front of them. I bet they're having such a great time. I can just imagine them together on the dance floor. <laughs> and the best bit is they can finally get away from those smelly old horses. Mm. It'll be a chance to see each other in a totally new light. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> No, I can't see him anywhere. Yeah, maybe we should split up. I'll cut back along the ridge. Hear that? Yeah, careful. 
We don't want to speak him. Work, Ali. Thanks. <laughs> what are you laughing at? Well, look at you. <laughs> Me? What about you? You're never going to get the deposit back on that suit. Nice shoes. Thanks. Picked them up in Hamburg. Hamburg, Germany? <laughs> yeah, like I'd go all the way to Germany to get a pair of shoes. So what do you reckon about the formal? What about it? Well, it's not too late. We still have time to get cleaned and go, if you want. But you don't. <laughs> not really. How do you know? Because we both know the real reason you asked me. Because of Emma? Yep. <laughs> she gave me the excuse, but mainly I asked you because I really do like you. You do? Yeah. Even if you are a pain in the butt sometimes. Oh, only because you're so stubborn. <laughs> so what do you reckon? I reckon we get this horse back first. So? So what? So how was it? Oh, you mean the formal. Ali! <laughs> Let's just say it was special. All thanks to you guys. <laughs> so, tell us everything. Well, it all started when Jackie let the horse out. I let the horse out? And, of course, we have to get it back. In the process, my dress got ruined, what? Dan trashed his suit, and we almost missed the formal. Almost? Take a look. Oh, I don't believe it. Ali! Ali, I am so sorry. Don't be. It was the best night I've had in ages. What about the shoes? Were they all right? Change I had a dress before you went on the horse. I mean, it looks like you were done. Guys, 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 slow down one at a time. Some days are just born disastrous. Today was definitely starting that way. Disaster one, slept through alarm. I'll drop you off for the National Day rehearsals. Your mother will pick you up for Grandma's birthday dinner. Disaster two, forgot Grandma's birthday. At least make her a kala. And then, because chaos comes in threes. Oh no! What? So, if that's the kind of day it's going to be, I'm going to keep my head down till it's finished. Oh! I woke up with the greatest craving for mango sorbet. Emma, I can't. I'm drowning in homework as it is. I wasn't actually asking you to come with me. It's my craving. I don't need you to hold my spoon. Ah! Sorry, it's just that I can't find my English assignment and I'm pretty sure I left it here, or, or maybe I left it in the stables. Yeah, catch you later. Mom, have you seen my red shirt? It was here. I know, I put it here last night. 
the red one with the Chinese color. I borrowed it. There was a party last night and you were asleep. I didn't want to wake you. So you just came in and took it? You're upset, aren't you? Today, my school is rehearsing for the National Day Parade. And my red shirt is on the other side of the planet. OK, so you need a red shirt, and that was the only red shirt you have? My school is making the shape of the Singaporean flag. I think in a sea of 1,200 red shirts, I'm going to stand out, don't you? OK, I've got a red shirt at home. I, I can race home and find it. It's not even about the red shirt. Wow, I totally thought that's what it was about. It's just... If this was a normal bedroom and that was a normal door, you'd have to wait until morning and then you'd have to knock. But because it's not, because we have the chat room, you treat my room like it's a, a train station. And the red shirt, it's just... Sorry, I'm sounding like a complete psycho, aren't I? It's just too much to do. What's new? Look, the shirt's already washed and in the dryer. Shall I go get it? Thank you. So not like Jackie to spaz out over borrowing clothes. You heard her. It's not even about the shirt. She's just got too much on her plate, that's all. Yeah, well, she better take a serious chill pill or her head's gonna blow off before we even reach the first elimination round. What? I just thought of how we can help Miss Jackie chill out. A map. Who are we going with? Someone who needs a rest. Someone who needs a break away from homework, washing up, and pesky big brothers. <laughs> little pesky little brothers. I wasn't talking about me. I, if mum and dad ask, I've gone out to get some supplies. Dad, come on. We're going to eat it, not paint its portrait. Who are you trying to impress? I'm not trying to impress anyone, Dad. You're not going out with the boy? No. You better ignore the messages in the fortune cookies then. One picnic feast. Right, now all you need to do is deliver one fresh Jackie Lee. <laughs> Too easy. No. What do you mean, no? I mean no, as in negative, not possible, not going to happen. I'm very sorry to do this, Jackie, but I think you're too stressed out to know what's good for you. What are you very sorry to do? Dragging someone through cyberspace without the permission is completely... It's like kidnapping. Ready to go? Go? Um, would anyone mind telling me where we're going? It's a surprise. Right, because I don't actually need a surprise. I need to know what's going on. Oh, I wish I could help you, Jackie, but they've sworn me to secrecy too. Thanks, Dad. Thanks, Mr. Hanson. How far away is the pickup point? Uh, two hours? Please tell me you're joking. We're not joking. Here's a pack. Seriously, you have to tell me what's going on. Uh, all will be revealed, Jackie. You're just gonna have to walk 20 minutes along that path to find out. Happy, is she? No, she's not happy. Because you just dragged her halfway across the world without asking if it was okay with her or not. She's going all red shirt again. And if you had have bothered to ask, no, it's not okay. It's just that you seemed a bit stressed, so we thought we'd organize something a bit unstressful for you. The only problem I have right now is that I don't have enough time. And you just organized a two-hour bushwalk. Two hours I couldn't spare in the first place. Which part of that did you think would be unstressful? You're right. It was a stupid idea. It wasn't stupid. You just didn't check if I had the time or not. I know. I'm sorry. I was just trying to help. 
if we pick up the pace, we can be back at the pickup point in an hour. Guys, push on. I'll get the stuff and catch up. What is she doing? Foot massage by the waterfall. Picnic next to the plunge pool. Cushions and magazines. How did she get it all down here? She came out early to set it up as a surprise. Hey, Dad, it's me. Yeah, there's been a bit of a change of plans. Can you come pick us up, please? Yeah. All right, we'll be there in 10. Thanks. Bye. You went to so much trouble. Yeah, well, like you said, I should have checked first. I wish I could just say let's stay, but I really don't have enough time. I wasn't freaking out before for no reason. It's cool, Jackie. I get it, all right? Dad's already on the way. Half an hour and you'll be home. Good, huh? I... I should... Yeah, you should... Bye. Bye. Something very bad obviously happened. Uh, Damon, maybe Lost you should... Must have had a cat fight or something. Ow! She kicked me! Put something in your mouth. I'm sorry, Mum, I'm not really hungry. I'll be in my room. Okay. Uh, do you want me to remind you about that English assignment due tomorrow? I completely forgot. I don't even know where my copy is. Well, do you remember where you had it last? If I, I remember, remember where, where I, I had, had it last, it would be lost. lost. Oh, I know where it is. I was reading it there a couple of days ago, and under your bed is the only place I haven't looked yet. Okay, so... So, this is me knocking on your door? I'm trying not to just barge into your room like it's a train station. Could you please barge? No, oh, now she wants barging. Barging is better than this. I just want us to be normal again. All right, all right. I'm going to barge into your room and find my assignment, okay? Great. I hope you find it. Not as much as me. OK, see you tomorrow. Finishing up recce with your mum and dad, so I snuck past. What's going on? Not much, just wanted some fresh Hamburg air. You're possibly the worst lie I've ever met in my life. Thanks. Come on, you can walk while we talk. I don't know. I didn't even mean to look at it. It kind of just jumped out at me. Ali! Ali, focus! You came halfway around the world to have this conversation with me. What did the diary say? It said. I'd be better off without them. Emma and Ali are total losers, and I should just get rid of them. What? That's what I said. I can't believe it. I can't believe she thinks that. 
how could you ride something like that behind our backs? Why would she? Jackie, reminding us that rehearsals start an hour early. Jackie? She signed it with a kiss. <laughs> so, what are we gonna do? How should I know? I'm a total loser. What do you think? I'm not sure either. I just can't imagine turning up at the rehearsal pretending as if nothing's wrong. Hey, we've still got two hours to decide. I gotta get back, but I'll see you there. Or I won't. Sorry, a horse, pregnant. I at home, back in Australia. Oh, Dad was on the phone, and he's all excited and that. It's really not relevant, is it? Sorry I'm late. Emma, have any pet issues back home? Anxious canary, constipated hamster. I'll call her. Her phone's off. Why would her phone be off? Well, I guess you girls might as well get into the general warm-ups. And if Emma doesn't turn up, I guess you're doing 50 minutes of fitness training. What's going on? Okay, swap over. Good job. Okay, let's wrap it up. Tell Emma she needs a really good excuse. And if she doesn't have one, she needs to make one up. Because she just used up your strike. What do you mean? One strike and you're out. I think it's usually three strikes and you're out. With me, you only get one. This is so not like Emma. When is she ever more than two meters away from her phone? Look, I've got to take off. Already? Pregnant mare. What? Well, it's true. A better friend than you will never find. Emma? I keep thinking that it's gonna be alright. But how am I? Seems like everything's changing, but change isn't necessarily such a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, all right. It's not that great either. But hey, can't blame me. I didn't get you pregnant. So it's true. The horse really is pregnant. Yeah, it's all I could think of. I know why Emma didn't come to practice. She was too busy trying to steal my boyfriend. Sorry? Nicholas? N no, that's ridiculous. I was there, Ali. I saw it with my own eyes. Hey, hi. What's the emergency? Uh, it's, um, uh, <laughs> I wouldn't call it an emergency. Okay, I'm going to go. I'll tell you tonight, yeah? Spill. Look, I know the diary thing was horrible, but that... 
Don't need to do that. What are you talking about? You, all over Nicholas, just to get up Jackie's nose. <gasps> what? She saw you guys this morning. And in case you're wondering if it worked, she's really her M. I can see how Jackie might have gotten the wrong idea. But you, Ali, you just leap to the conclusion that I'm the kind of girl who tries to steal someone's boyfriend to hurt them without even asking me. It didn't sound like there was anything to ask about. You know, maybe this whole best friends forever thing worked while we were stuck in Singapore. But now that we're home, I think we're kidding ourselves. Ali and Emma. I can't really believe I'm writing this because I thought we would be friends till we were old and wrinkly. Maybe that was just wishful thinking. I don't understand how things went so wrong so fast. But unless one of you can think of a way to fix things, we just need to deal with it. If you can build a bridge and get over it, Maybe you're not meant to travel. And one of the things we have to deal with is the dance comp. Michelle shouldn't have to pay for our mistakes, so we probably need to let her know so she's got enough time to find someone else to coach. Ali, you have to. Funny. I thought that would feel like the worst bit for me. But the worst is Chelsea getting to parade around thinking her total loser's theory is true. Oh, no. No, 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 no! <laughs> Emma! I have to wake up. Mm. Emma! Emma, I'm serious, you have to wake up! <laughs> Sorry, but it really is an emergency now. come up with a good excuse? Uh, can we have a second? Because we're still trying to figure out whether we're going to need an excuse or not. Chelsea is driving me crazy. She's desperate to find a way to ruin our chances in the competition. Today she came up with the craziest idea yet, that this is the bit that I read. I'd be better off without them. Emma and Ali are total losers. I should just get rid of them. you'd think those were my words. I can't believe you'd think that I was trying to steal your boyfriend just to spite you. I saw you. You saw Nicholas give me a hug. Because I just lost the best friendship that I've ever had. Oh. I can't believe that we could all get it so wrong. Can we make a deal? Can we agree that somebody would have to threaten me with water torture before I ever write anything bad about you guys in my diary? Deal? Deal. deal and that someone must have hit me over the head with a hockey stick that I'd so much as wink in a closer direction. Deal. Deal. And I must have completely lost my marbles if I ever try and do anything to help Jackie relax. Deal. <laughs> you might not 
not be able to force me to relax even if you wanted to. Why not? I wrote something very bad today. Dear diary, I can't believe how sad I feel. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no! Without the girls, I feel like I'm missing a limb. I told Josh this morning that he should reformat my computer as soon as he gets a chance. What's the point of having the chat room if there's no one to share it with? What's up? Have either of you Einstein's heard of a phone? What? Two hours ago you told me to get rid of it. What can I say, Josh? I changed my mind. I think we're safe for now. <laughs> So, there's a capoeira class in ten. Oh, yeah, and beach volleyball at three. Oh, I can't possibly do either. Some good friends of mine told me I needed to chill out, so... That's exactly what I'm going to do. 